that everyone stand from cyber vigilance. And in this video, we're going to be using Sentinel One to roll back WannaCry ransomware. So I'm using this GitHub repository, and um, these are live malware samples. So do not use these in a production environment, and make sure that you are testing in a demo environment that is not connected to your enterprise. My current policy for my group is in detect detect. I would not um, recommend this to be in production either, as it doesn't actually protect you from the threats and it only detects them and puts them in your incidents tab. So I'm gonna go back to our Windows demo. And it's just a standard Windows demo. We have um, some firewall examples down the side here. You can see the video there, just to prove that it's working. I'm gonna download this. drag and drop this to our desktop and um, the password for these ransomware samples are on the github repository so it's infected and Sentinel one has already detected it as malicious as the um, should be the cloud hash reputation Have a look here, and yeah, so the, the hash has been recognized as malicious already. Um, so, but because we're not in detect protect, um, the threat is still alive and it's not being mitigated. So, we're going to run this script now. So, I'm running the WannaCry exe now um, because the Windows is already blocking it. So, we'll go more info and press run anyway. So, I'm using WannaCry as an example as it's. Um, as it was one of the biggest ransomware attacks in, um, in the NHS and in the world, in fact. Um, but for example, you could have a ransomware attack that wasn't well on a cry and it wasn't detected by the file hash reputation and it might have slipped through and infected your enterprise. Um, so we'll let this run now and I'll cut back to when everything has been encrypted. So ransomware isn't instant, um, it does take a few minutes. You can see uh, one of the Crypto EXE instances appearing. Um, if you look in our management console, uh, there you go, you've got 20 instances of um, the one of the Crypto EXE. Um, these instances are grouped by hash, so if we ungroup them by hash, you can actually see there's a massive list of them. So press group by hash to be able to respond to them, respond to all of these at once. And there you go, there is the infamous um, decryption page. So obviously you do not want to pay $300 of Bitcoin to this address, they'll just take your money and you probably won't get it back. Um, so with Sentinel-1, there's rollback capabilities to actually um, utilize a volume shadow, uh, shadow copy service um, to roll back to the last safe instance of your machine. Um, this is, it only works on Windows though, however, it only works on Windows. So we're going to head back to our management console. Everything's encrypted here. Um, vid the video example, we'll try and open that. And you can see the file extension is WNCRI, CRY. We'll head over to our management console. And we'll select all of these threats. Press threat actions, mitigation action. But all the way to roll back, markers resolved, true positive. And you can add a note if you like. Press apply. So the GUI takes a few seconds to update, but everything works instantly, and the rollback does take a few seconds. And as you can see, um, all of the encrypted files have been uh, are currently being replaced. Actually, um, you can see the threats are being resolved. And there you go, the background has been replaced and Sentinel-1 agent shows up with an information box saying Sentinel-1 agent has handled the rollback of a threat but requires a reboot. This operation will be completed automatically in the next computer restart. Do you want to reboot now? Um, if it's safe to do so, press yes. So for me, yep. We'll restart the device and I'll cut to it when we're back into our desktop. So 
a quick note, we'll look in the management console and you can see everything's been uh, resolved uh, on the incident status and the, my endpoint is not infected anymore. You can see it's gray now. And as you can see, everything has been rolled back. Let's go to our video for an example. And you can see that lovely compressed video there. So that is how you roll back with Sentinel-1. Um, if you enjoyed watching, subscribe to us. Um, if you ever want any more information about Sentinel-1, would you like to see a demo, contact us in the, um, in the email below. Um, and thank you for watching.